tubers. Well, today we're going to try out our little six foot weapons. Now, because they're brand new, they're going to be tricky. And you know what it's like christening new gear. So we've got a cunning plan up our sleeve. Keep watching and come with us. Right then tubers, Mr. Williams is over there. I'm here. This is the little rods we've got. Oh, which would, I can't, I'm not even going to begin to pronounce it. They're a little six foot jobbies. Extracutor. Bad boy. I'm rigged up. We should be able to winkle one or two out in this water. Hence why we're going to christen it. I'm going to christen one of my new alarms. <clears throat> I've set my trap. I've put a tiny amount of uh, bait in. Don't need a great deal here. Just a single hook bait would do the job. But obviously I want to speed this process up. I just want to christen the rod, the alarm, new reel, the line, and get that over and done with. Christening it's always difficult. Now the trouble is with this water, as much as I fancy my chances to get the job done really quick, the fish are about a pound, pound and a half. And I'm using a size eight hook rig. It's a tall order but it should be plausible. We've already had a little bit of action in the swim, but not enough yet to have picked up my hook bait. You probably won't pick this up on the tube. But my line's gone a little bit tight, just started to bounce a bit. Maybe we've got a couple of fish moving around down there. But having a tight line might just put them off a little bit. They might be able to feel that and they might be shying away from that little area. It's still moving slightly, the line. I know the fish in here are small, but that'd be ridiculous. I'm just going to give it a little bit of slack. Sadly, it doesn't look like anything's going to come from that opportunity. I'll still give it a little minute longer though. Was Mr. Williams is Chris and D's little six footer. Here we go. We didn't get a pucker. <laughs> Ditch in the net, bosh. <laughs> I'll drive it the grass. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and Chibbers, we're not going to pick this one up. We've unhooked it on the mat. You can see, it. they're not very big in here, so we're. Just hoping to christen our new gear, really, aren't we? Yeah, just to uh, Wet a test line. out a few rigs, really. A bit of bait. And, uh, yeah, true stalker star. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if I can uh, do the job now. Well, that's one of us done it. And I did notice when I reeled in to have a look, I did have a bit of shit round here, still got a little bit of it, but it had quite a bit. Right, let's get this back out there. I'm only fishing about eight feet away. set up right that's set up I'm gonna chuck a little bit more bait out there definitely fish moving because as you know I've had a few liners if I kept it in the video I want to make it short if it's a reasonably rubbish video but let us know in the comments below do you have trouble christening your new stuff 
We always seem to. I don't mean like a packet of hooks or a new rig you tied. I mean like a proper purchase. A new alarm, new rod, new reel. Do you struggle as well? Or is it just a, an old myth and wear a couple of old girls' blouses when it comes to new equipment? Anyway, I'm going to crumb up some more and chuck some in. There we are, tubers. <laughs> I just chucked the rest of my stuff down. Only a diddy, as we know. Not even really putting a battle curve in the rod, is it? Now, silly, my net's just a little bit over there. Now I could tighten the drag up, but where's the sport in that? Oh, it's a bit bigger than Mr. Williams. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Maybe about two pound, two and a half flat. But nothing for my little six foot whipper here. Tie that drag up a little bit more. We'll have him in the net. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than I give it credit for. I can't wait to get a 20 on this rod. That's going to be some fight. He's a little bit net shy still. Parker! Right. I'll give you a quick flash of him, and that's about it. They're not worth weighing. Get them straight back out and get your gear in. Treat it like you're a match fishing. All right then, Chuvers. As you can see, maybe three pounds at a push. Not worth taking a proper photo. Get him back safely as you can. And have another go. Come on boy. Right Chevers. Does that count as my second fish? Alright, not on this rod perhaps, but that's gotta count, isn't it? Let's slip him back, he'll have another day. I just want to take a moment to talk about the six foot rod. We didn't really get it to mess around with on a puddle like this with thousands of carp, you know, with an average weight of about a pound and a half, a bar of soap, you know, a tiny really. We've got it, and you'll see it in upcoming videos, future videos, we've got it for where you just can't get a normal size rod in. I mean, we've already come down from 12 foots to 10 foots on commercial fisheries. Um, we're not following a fashion, it's just you don't need all that gear. We like to come light. I mean, other than me unhooking mat, Will's got an unhooking mat over there. Um, I've got a rod, I've got an alarm. I wouldn't really bring an alarm for this sort of situation. I've got nothing more than an unhooking mat, a small rod and a bait bucket. That this is being filmed off. You don't need any more than that. The alarm's a luxury bit, really. I just wanted to see my red alarm go off. That's christened. So 
means of forgetting real lightweight stuff and getting into little nooks and crannies where you could fight a small um, fight a fish with a small rod set up like this um, it really will be interesting to see how this responds to a decent sized fish and I mean around 15 pounds upwards some of you might be watching this and thinking oh I want a 40 50 pound let's let's get in the real world there ain't many lakes with that caliber of fish in it and certainly not uh, places that aren't syndicates so this is an ideal little rod for that commercial fishery like we are here like we are here at Wylands International you know across the back there and that swim over there I don't know if you can see it but it's not very big I have float fished over there previously too big I had a 14 foot rod way too big I brought one of my original float rods for some of those swims and that's 10 foot and it still felt too big but getting on from a place like that um, I won't show you in this video I'm gonna try and use this and catch for you guys in an area that I really mean but I'm talking about where there's this little cut in at the side of the lake you can just about get your net through and perch in there with a rod like this and just flick down where you can see some feeding fish so that's what this rod's about is not for a puddle like this with tons of it. that's why we're not catching many because I'm not prepared to put anything smaller on than a size 8 hook you know I reckon if you put a match hook on this and a couple of maggots we'd have had one out after the other and we might even make a video of that in the very near future but for now we're just putting some of our fishing adventures on here Excitable little fish there, tubers. Real bar of soap, this one. Look at it. Oh, no, I thought for a second I might have christened it with a mirror. Well, I say christened, got the first mirror. Oh, he's a tiny little one. The bait's bigger than him. And another one. Right, and tubers. It's getting a little bit too dark to film. We've had a few fish amongst us, as you saw. It, really quite impressed with that little rod. Seems to have a bit of power. Okay, you can't judge that on a small fish, but you could feel that the rod just wasn't bending over double like you expect a little six foot whip to. It is a half decent uh, rod. Two and three quarter test curve. Are they two, three quarter, two and a half? two and three quarters if i'm wrong i should flash something up anyway tubers thanks for watching don't forget to watch one of our other adventures here and subscribe over there t-back <laughs>